Hey everyone, it's Ockley here, and today I'm going to show you how you can install mods in Space Engineers. So, you're going to open up your File Explorer, and then you're going to go to your C drive, and then Users, your username, App Data, which might be hidden, and then Roaming. Scroll down to find Space Engineers. And then here's where all your save screenshots and workshop worlds are. At the top you'll see mods, and this is where you're going to put the mods. So, yeah, this is it here. So now you're going to go to your internet browser, and you're going to go to the Keen Software House forums. And then you scroll down this page, and you go down to the modding section. And then once you're in the modding section, you can see all the different authors, all the different mods, and you know you can browse their page and see what they've made. And the first page, the thread, normally has the um, download links to the mods. So um, yeah, that, that you can look through those. And you could also use the AAA mod pack, which basically has all the mods that work. Um, yeah, up to this point kind of thing. Most, the mostly, most of them are in there. There's a couple that might not be, but the best ones um, that work are in the AAA mod pack. But for the purpose of this video, I'm going to go down and just go on the Cityscape mod and hover bike page. So yeah, here you go. You know, you've got the page and the information about the mod and some pictures and stuff. You keep scrolling down. We get to the download links. So there's one for the cityscape and one for the hover bike. So I'm going to click on both and download those both. So yeah, they shouldn't take you very long to download. And um, when they're done, you're going to go back to your file browser that we opened earlier and using something like WinRAR or 7-Zip or any other extracting software you're going to use that to extract the mod so you can open that up and then you're going to go into the mod folder and you're going to see um, some different things so in there you have readmes which you don't need you know they're just instructions and then you've got the main mod itself and then some other optional stuff and then you've got a world file which you can put into your um, save games and you, it's the pre-made well for the mods so it's really useful to use but we're looking for the one that's got data models and textures in and then we're going to drag that in to the mod folder and so that's that done and now we're going to go to the do the same for the hover bike again it's got the one we're looking for it's got the data models and textures in and we're simply going to drag that across into the mod folder and that's it we've successfully installed two mods so now we've loaded up the game we're just going to check that the mods we've just installed work so we're going to go on quick start let me get into our world and then we're going to uh, get up the g menu scroll down to hopefully see our mods installed and there we go all good yeah we're good so that's it that's all you have to do it's a simple drag and drop process and it will get even easier in the future when uh, the devs integrate modding into the steam workshop so you'll simply be able to download mods as you do with worlds currently so um thanks guys and i hope that helps and uh, i'll see you next time